So till this point, we have seen how to insert data into a list, how to insert data at the start of the list, and then how to insert at specific index. So if you can see, we have a value which is 18, 45, 12, and 25, and then we are also adding uh, 5 or 55 at the start. So if I run this code, we should be having 5 elements, right? But then I made a mistake. So if I run this code, you can see I made one mistake. I'm getting this 55 two times. So what went wrong? If you can see the code here, we are saying when you, whenever you insert at the start, in the, if the index value is zero, then you need to execute this code. That means we, not, we should not be executing the other code as well, right? I mean, this thing is, is need to be skipped and we are not doing that. And that's why you can see we are inserting 55 two times. So this code here should go into the else part, which we missed in the last video. I will just put a else block here. And after putting that else block, I will just go back to my runner. And if I run this code now, you can see we got 55 only one. So yes, that was one mistake in the last video. Uh, so I just made some correction here. So there should be an else here. It's working now. You can see we got 55. So just to draw here, whatever we have done till now. Uh, so let's start with the first one. So what we are doing is with this line of code, it will create your first box here. And let me just write a box, which is 18. And let's give an address, which is 501. That's my first address. Let's, let's have one more. So we, when you say 45, we got a second box. So when you add this list, we, you will get 45 here. And the value is 45. Now let's say this is 502. So of course, uh, this 18 here will have an address of 5 zero two so it will link to this box and then when we are saying add 12 so we got one more box here which is 12 and let's say this has some address with let's say 503 so for 45 here we'll have 503 now so we got this link here we got one more which is uh, 25 but 25 will go at start so we got a new box here which is 25 initially we were having a head which was referring to 18 at this at the start of location but now that head is not referring here. The head is referring to this new box 25 because we are saying start uh, at the start. So this will have its own address like 495. This is the address. You can go anywhere. It's not just uh, when you when you say it will add a start, it will have this value. It can have any value, uh, maybe 595, maybe 695 or 795. It doesn't matter. Now here it will have 501. So this will refer to the next element. So the sequence is 25, 18, 45 and 12. And of course 12 will have null. And then we are saying insert at zero location. So we are adding one more element, which is, which is 55. So we got 55, which is going at, and let's say 55 has its own address. Uh, we'll say this is 702. 55 will have 495 because the head value. And then this will refer here. Now head will not be referring to the 25. Head will refer to this new location. So that's how you insert value in between or at the end. So we have seen all those stuff. The next thing which is remaining now is delete, right? So how do I perform delete operation? So let's say I want to delete this 18 here. So I want to delete this 18 with index number 0, 1, 2. So I want to delete this index value 2. Now how will you do that? So when you want to delete this index value 2, so what we normally do is we just, so the only thing we have to do is just change this address. That's it. The only thing we have to change is change this address. So here, instead of having 501, we can we need to change this to 502 our job will be done right so when you say this is 502 it will refer to the next node and will not be using this node anymore so this is gone okay now how do we execute that so let's go back to our linked list and let's add one more method which is delete so before show here i would say delete public void delete and this will take an index value so i would say index int index now technically the name should be delete at right so it should be delete at because we are specifying the index value. Okay, now we have a special scenario here. What if you want to delete the first index? So if you want to delete this one, which is the first index here, now in that case, you just need to change one thing. You need to change your head location with this one. That's the only thing you do, right? And how do we achieve that? So we say if my index value is equal to zero, in that case, I will change my head location. So the head location will change to the next node. And what is next node? It is referred with the head node dot next. So I would say head dot next. So head will become head dot next and that's it. This is what you do when you want to delete the first element. It's that simple. But what if it's not a first element? So we'll go for else part again. And here we have to traverse. Remember we, whenever you want to traverse, you have to do something. If you want to traverse, remember this, we were using a for loop or a while loop. I will go for for loop because we are using index value, right? So remember this this code here, the same thing from here to here. Everything, everything remains same. We have to traverse to that location. So let's go there. I will say copy and we can just reuse, reuse the code here. So we are traversing, right? So from, so from the head node, we are traversing to that location. 
Now, once you reach to that location, so now when you pass a value 2 here, so the index value when is 2, so this loop will run only once, right? Because the index value is 2, so 2 minus 1 is 1, and we are going till i less than 1, which is 0 itself. So this loop will iterate, iterate only once. That means the current n value which we're representing after the loop would be this n. So this 1 will be your n. So n is 1. Now I want this value which is 502 because so that if I know this 502 you can assign that value in this box and the way you do that is by using this node in some temporary variable so I will say that there is n1 so when I say n1 now I'm representing this object and when I say n I'm representing this object or this node so I would say first of all I want to assign n1 is equal to n dot next that's how you get you will get this reference so if you want to if you want to use this object here you have to if you want to make it n1 you have to say n dot next because n dot next is n1 right oh but we don't have n1 anymore so we'll say n node n i mean node n1 is equal to null so that we can refer that so we have to declare that object first now once i got n and n1 the only thing we have which you have to do now is the n object so when i say n dot next so the n dot next need to be replaced by n1 dot next and it's very simple now. You can simply say n dot next is equal to n one dot next. Okay. And then once you got the value, you can simply say system dot out dot print ln, and you can print the value if you want. Uh, you so just want just want to verify if everything is working properly. You can delete the element which you want to delete. So I will say I want to delete n one because that's what we are doing. We want to delete n one, right? So we'll say n one and let's print the value of n one, which is n one dot data. So we'll know at, at least which one is getting deleted. Now, how to verify this? Let's go back to our runner and let's delete a value after some time. So it's a least dot delete. I want to delete the element at index number two, which is 18 in this case. Let's run this code. And you can see after running, we don't have 18 anymore in the list. Yeah, this is getting printed in the delete method itself. If I don't print something here, even it will not print 18 there. So yes, with the, we can delete the value just by using delete method. So we have delete at it will you it will be used to delete the value at the particular index. So that is awesome. Uh, this is how you delete the element. The only thing we did here is we just changed the reference, right? So this n so this element address is changed by the new one, which is five zero five zero two, not five zero one in this case. And that's it. This is how you break the links. Okay, there is one problem. This object is is still there. It is deleted from the list, but it's still there. If you want to nullify it, you can do that. You can simply say n1 equal to null so that it will be eligible for garbage collection, right? So if I run this code now, you can see we, we have removed 18 and it is not there in the uh, memory as well. It is eligible for garbage collection. So that's how you can uh, delete this uh, data. Now I will upload this data, I will upload this code on GitHub. So you, you can find the GitHub link in the description area. That, that's where you will find the entire code. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do click on the like button if you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching everyone.